Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>
interior of the craters. Now I'm going to go show you some blurry patches and how and why they are needed in my photos. Look at that. That is totally natural and a straight up shot that that area has a blurry, clouded, smoked area. We can go back time after time again, each moon phase, to be sure that those smokes are still there to try to differentiate whether some of these are natural or not. Here you can see in most of my research photos, especially when inverting them, that there's a blurry line of a different color when inverted that lays over certain areas of most of the structures. This is not because the camera's out of focus. It's actually because there's an actual blurry or cloudy hazed out area where we're seeing them in these photos. Now I get people daily that send me videos and say, Bruce, look at the structures on the surface that I found on the moon. It's easy, I got them too. And I respect all of you for doing this, uh, for doing that, but you're not showing me, some of you, the same things as what I'm showing right here. These aren't pixels. And what people are getting mixed up with are with the squares that appear over top of a photo when you get really close. This is, it's obvious to see the difference between a bloody pixel. If you see 100,000 squares on the surface of the moon that are all the same no matter where you look, it's pixelation. This is Bianchini Crater, just off to the east of Bianchini Crater, and you can tell it's not pixelation because you're not looking at one object that's the same. And again, notice that apparent glass-like color, raw glass-like color that you see of this structuring. In certain areas, th these objects look like smokes or blurs on the surface. And I tend to think that they're actually this type of structuring that I found here in Bianchini Crater and many other places, by the way, on the moon. So to my surprise, upon zooming in, I see all this. And I tried to show many things here. One, the elevation, the structures on the surface that you can see at least um, in a row, some areas with five objects simultaneously uh, you know, deliberately placed side by side, uh, this massive object with this very, very straight line. It's there in Bian Bianchini Crater, just a couple of miles to the east of it. And all these bumps on the surface really remind me of an overhead view of Earth. I'm having a lot of hard times getting some pictures in uh, the public domain. I They tend to keep taking my videos down and these are said to be copywritten, uh, uh, sorry, uncopywritten photos. So look at the bumps here, analyze them, and you could, wow, I mean, it's something that looks constructed. Why? Because you, you don't have something natural that is side by side like that, that huge. Have you ever seen four mountains exactly the same on Earth? Never. For us to see these huge bumps on the surface, they have to be pretty large. That's, <laughs> that's a fact if we depend on what science tells us and what the distance of the moon is. We can see even bridges connecting all these pathways to other elevated um, higher plateaus or plains. And here's the thing. The fact that they have the same reflectivity as the surface and they're being whited out, people are really, really ruling these uh, structures out. But And, of course, the, my credibility. I'm not a scientist. But, yep, they're really up there. <laughs> All these structures, and look at the complexity in it, and look how close it is to the structure, so there's nothing really hidden there, is there? So then you see this, and you try to put the relationship between the fact that if aliens could be living there, or that if NASA could have gone there, when would they have met, right? I mean, this comes up all the time. Here's without a filtering, and this straight edge down here and the depths inside with more layering on top, it makes sense. When you look at it, it really makes sense. And not only is it not pixelation, it has its own color. Pixels don't get their own colors on screens. These structures, you see naturally straight up, look basaltic or grayish. They have the same reflection as the surface. The elevated levels are connected to the lower levels when you really take the time to examine it. The bridges connect even the side shafts or high plains or plateaus that are there and everything's there. The bottom of the photo you see a bit of pixelation. I like showing it when I see it because these are not pixelation. <laughs> so rewind that, just look at the bottom of the photo. You can see there's a layer over the top there sort of 
pixelated, and these are definitely not. Big secret, and many people say this is Aristarchus Crater Plateau just underneath it. The light sources, the smaller light sources, and it's all there. So it looks like a framing, right? It looks like a shell all around the moon. And at times it does look like also, how can I say that these, this framing was dug up maybe? Maybe that's what they've been doing there for the past thousands of years, completely digging up the moon and emptying it of their elements. But hey, aliens are humans. Like I said, that's, that's not even what I'm interested in right now, actually. Just seeing the surface. Look at that. Look at that. I'm so happy every time I get a new view to share it with you guys. I was staring at this one this afternoon on my big ass, excuse the expression, screen television, and I'm watching all of these objects, looking really closely how they're all connected. You know where we are? This is Eratosthenes Crater on the top right there, and these are the Apennine Mountains, and this is the whole area where we could, is it Eistrum, Mare Eistrum? I'm not sure, but either way, we could see all these, these beautiful um, objects and anomalies on the surface. Could you imagine trying to land there? Could you imagine a rover seriously trying to get around there? If you were to land something here, whatever you'd land would remain in that small area. And that's if the aliens don't catch whatever you're landing there, right? Maybe there's no one up there, but no, actually, sorry. Look at this tunnel. There is someone up there, but maybe they're not alien and maybe they're, or maybe they're not human. Who knows? Maybe it's creatures, right? I'm seeing biological creatures. Who knows? So when you look at it like this, it's just absolutely incredible. It makes sense. It's an entire setup, all connected of pathways and corridors, like a framing, a shell all across the surface of the moon. It has the same reflectivity of the surface, each and every object. So hard to differentiate from the surface. The more the trolls mention the pixelation, well, they don't anymore, actually. You know why, guys? Because they sort of screwed up their little dream or brigade going there. Here in the bottom, you can see a bit of pixelation right there. Simple lines, right? But they're continuous over the bottom of the, the photo. I don't talk about that area. But look over here on the top. You can see that those are the elevated uh, anomalies on the surface that are really in the photo and on, on the surface area. So when it comes to either the structures or pixelation, it's very easy to differentiate. Thanks for watching everyone.